Finally done. Took forever to make this damn video. Easy tip. If you're looking for war pattern ideas, do what I did. Check out all the top players in your server. If you need to know how to do that, just check this out real quick. Click on your picture or the, you know, the Facebook picture or whatever that is up there in the corner that you have. <laughs> my picture. Damn. Then click on the part of the screen that I've cut off in my expert editing. Under, it'll say rankings. Once you get into the rankings, look at the player power rankings. That will show you all the top players in, in, in your server. You'll see we have a, uh, several pretty big players on our server. You, really, what you want to do, you want to look for players that look like this right here. This is on a different server that I was in. And you'll see their power, 136 million, 306 million, 306 million. Mm. 124 million. You, you want to find players like this. They will have all of the big... Uh, heroes, they'll have them all with the third awakening. Usually, they'll have all the good war patterns on them. Now, you won't be able to see what they're what what they're the abilities that they're putting and the attributes that they're putting on the war patterns, but you'll be able to see exactly what war patterns are using. Now, you can go into every single one of your heroes, all the partners, and look at each one of their abilities. And you and a lot of them will actually tell you what you need to put on it. In this case, right here, this is the red berserker. It says uh, you can deal higher damage with a with a higher hit point. This right here is Mr. Dagger. It says you can deal more damage with a faster speed. So you, it's basically telling you what to do. It's telling you to put speed. It's put, telling you to use the hit, the hit point. Then you have to. Then you'll have to go and build uh, your hero accordingly. This is from the Blue Fierce Beast. It says that it will deal damage based on a percentage of itself max hit point. So you know it, you need to get its max hit point up as high as possible. Uh, this is cis violence. This is another can deal higher damage with a faster speed So there's a lot of hints given in the abilities itself also look in the uh, Codex I believe it's called when you go into the partner stages uh, uh, This is the blue berserker higher hit points uh, higher healing with him um, And when you look into that codex, I believe that's what it's called brood X codex something like that uh, Very accurate information <laughs> you can actually look at the third awakening you can look at the stats that you don't quite have yet and you'll know what to expect it, there may be a third awakening and there may be different abilities that you might need something different for your heroes that you don't even see at first now we did this is what took so long I I did a little recorded a bunch of attacks about eight hours it took me because I'm real good at math and what I wanted to do is kind of show you exactly how speed works for each partner. As you know, the order of attacks are calculated by the speed of each partner. So the higher speed that your partner has, the further in the order it will attack and the more attacks it will get. So what we've done is given you an example based on what I what I recorded, the, the math I did. This is not fact from the game. This is just what I what I actually watched. So again this is uh like everything is my opinion not fact might be fact i don't know anyway each round we added the speed for the partners once they attacked we, we subtracted a hundred from their t total speed this would be the running total that allows us to calculate the speed advantages that each partner has that was the math that was involved not too difficult but it took me eight hours to do so let's just say that we had Blue God of Earth, uh, Blue Daggers, their speed was 101 and 141. So, starts off with the highest speed attack, so Daggers would attack first. Now, in what I, what I observed was all the speed has to be between 100 and 199 in order to get their attacks in. After each attack, we're going to take 100 away from the speed. That's kind of like the cost of the speed every round. So that brings uh, God of Earth down to 1. Brings daggers down to 41 and this kind of carries over into round two 
Now in round two, you add the speed. Now uh, Earth is back up to uh, 102. Dagger's up to 282. This is where he'll get an extra attack in, the, the bonus attack, because he, ha he has to be between 100 and 199 speed in order to attack his regular attack. Because he was over that, he'll get a bonus attack. This is when you'll see partners get two attacks in in a row. You might be wondering why. It's because their speed had had actually built up, and they have more, and they have over 200 speed at that point. So after he attacks, and you take off his bonus speed, he's down to 82. Uh, the, well, with the speed cost for round two, down to two and 82. Back down into range. Now we can go into round three. Round three, we just keep on doing the same thing over and over. You add the speed for each one of them. Uh, 103 for God of Earth. Daggers is back over 200 again, so he'll get another bonus attack. And if you pay close attention to your heroes that have extremely high speed, they're getting a lot more attacks in per match. Sometimes three or four more attacks in per match. The speed advantage for a higher speed is is just really evident if you're if you're paying close attention to it. This is why everyone says put speed on the left hand on almost every one of your heroes to substitute attack percentage or hit point percentage or something else instead of speed. You're taking attacks away from them every single every round or every match. Uh, several attacks. So really, really focus on speed on the left hand at least on everything. And I know, I know someone will say, well, easy, you're not supposed to have speed on everything. And this is true, there are heroes that that you have to have their hit points up so high that you may even want to put hit point percentage on the left hand. I don't, I don't, I don't know of an example off the top of my head because I really can't think of anything while I'm talking. <laughs> so in the fourth round, by the fourth round, Dagger's got six attacks in to Gardevoir's four attacks. So he, got, he actually got two extra attacks in. Now, remember in this example, this was just speed calculated. This was not. There's other complex adjustments that they make. For example, uh, the the green uh, uh, green help me. Uh, Nomad King. He changes the speed factors for everyone. There's other heroes that that will change the speed factor. You have to you have to uh, uh, incorporate slow and other debuffs in. So there's all kinds of other factors. It's, it's really complex. But just for a basic overview, uh, that left hand speed is really vital. So I would really suggest that everyone try to throw left hand speed on as many heroes that it would that can accommodate it. Now, now we're gonna go back into our into the server that I'm in. Uh, three two three. This is Jules, one of the main play, one of the big players, uh, one of the leaders in all of the server wars. We're gonna go through these partners and try to figure out what they have just based on the war pattern. Something that I think everyone should be doing. Uh, a little fair warning. It's pretty fast paced. Uh, Started off with the Nomad King, Blue Nomad King. And based on the 23,000 bonus hit points, uh, 76 bonus speed, I'm thinking left hand speed, and both the helmet and right hand hit point percentage. Um, now she uses cat war pattern, so so that's that gives uh, some additional speed right there. Uh, Red Colonel, and and again this is going to be pretty fast paced. She uses cat and elephant. Uh, I see a lot of uh, of colonels because they give their their attacks are based on their defense score. You'll see a lot of them with six with six uh, bull or uh, four bull cup and some support like uh, rabbit or corsac. God of Earth. They're also all, all the God of Earth. I believe their attacks are also based on their defense score. But that's not how you're going to see anyone build them. They all build them with Saya. Saya does a stun effect. Uh, God of Act. God of Earth, uh, the red does the all attack on I think two of his attacks. So two ta two different attacks, he hits everyone. So Saya works good with that because he can stun. Blue Colonel, another defense based uh, attacker. Jules has uh, Hi Hippo and Rabbit. Got distracted by my own writing, <laughs> but you'll see uh, again. You'll see a lot of Bull uh, or Bull and Rabbit to, for Rabbit for the resistance. She has nineteen thousand bonus hit points, so she went with Hippo. Uh, Blue Black Shaman. Blue Black Shaman. He has a stun effect on one, on I believe one, maybe two of his attacks. I can't even remember right now. Not that he's a popular hero or anything. <laughs> uh, on this one, there's high, there's high hit point, speed, and attack. So I'm thinking left hand speed and the helmet with hit either hit point and attack percentage on either uh, on both the the head and the right hand. 
So here's another look at another Nomad. This is from Splash. Number two in the server, or number three in the server right now. He has all six hippo. A very common uh, look Look at the blue Nomad. He's got, again, 23,000 23, bonus hit points. 67 speed, so he's going to have left hand speed. Doesn't doesn't have cat like like uh, Jules did, so he has left hand speed on on uh, the hippo. Green got Earth, another big attacker. Splash uses Smilodon and Hippo. He's got ten thousand bonus hit points. Attacks over a thousand. Speed is bonus sixty six. So I'm thinking left hand speed. Helmet with hit point or attack percentage. Right hand with hit point or attack percentage. You see a lot of similarities with a lot of these heroes. You, you notice that almost all of the all of them have left hand speed. Uh, Blue God of Earth. Splash has him with Cat and Bull. Uh, I believe Blue God of Earth is also a defense based. Um, I used all six. I have the Blue God of Earth. I used all six Bull, and mine is nothing like Splash's. So we might have to change that. <laughs> This is why studying the top players in, in your server is so important. Red guitarist needs the highest hit points as highest hit points possible to keep her alive. That way she can heal. I believe, based on all the scores here, that he has hit point percentage on the left hand, on the helmet, and the right hand. And it looks like he has some really good uh, second through fifth attributes there. Here's Splash's God of Earth. Notice all th third awakening too. Man, that's hard to do. Uses again, you see Saya and Hippo again. Saya is really common on the God of Earth, even though they give the bonus, even though they they give more damage per defense. I believe. I mean, I could be wrong about that. <laughs> I can't remember from before the video. <laughs> but 66 bonus uh, speed, so he's got to have left hand speed on that again. Now, I think every single one of these top players have had speed on the left hand. They have to have that to compete up top. He has Torador, I believe, number four on the server, number four or five, one of those. Red Nomad King. Now, there's several Red Nomad Kings that I've seen now with the same exact war pattern. He uses Ian war pattern. It, the, the retaliation skill that he has it works perfectly with Ian. The more he retaliates, the more Ian heals him. Looks like he has left hand speed and critical rate on the helmet. He's got his critical rate around 46%. Green Demon Killer. This has been upgraded really evenly. You notice that he doesn't have anything that's really popping out at you. Looks like he used the, on a, on the left hand. He looks like he used either attack or hit point percentage. Use critical rate or critical rate de uh, damage for the helmet and hit percentage on the right hand. First time we've seen hit percentage. He does that one earthquake uh, attack, so the hit percentage was was, was good. Yes. Here's the the original speedster, Green Dragon Man. You'll always see Cat on the Green Dragon Man. He's got a little mix match of bull and, and, and wolf on his, but again, probably has left hand speed on the bull. He's got critical rate damage on the on the helmet. Hit points on the right hand. Scarecrow third awakening coming up in the next video. I can't believe what I what I've seen the scarecrow do lately. He is a monster. Once you get to get him up to the third awakening, you see MDA has all six all six. Uh, Wolf, that's that's to get the critical damage, the critical rate up as high as possible. You can also use that. You can also use the Corsac with with the Green Scarecrow. One of the first teachers I ever had in the game. Here's the Saint, currently number six with 100, 103 million, and this could be different. I recorded this a couple weeks back. It's taking me that long to edit this. And this is something you don't see very often. Got the red Zera, and, and check this out. Third Awakening has a blessing. The, the Sylvan's blessing has a leader skill, critical rate damage. Red Zera has, is an attack partner. Has a, the critical rate leader skill. Saints got her up to, with seventeen hundred bonus attack. That's huge. Looks like she has left hand attack percentage, right hand attack percentage, and critical rate damage on the right hand. Here is Saints, God of Earth, Red God of Earth, another Sia of Hippo, and just for the record, I've actually looked it up, and she does not do higher, dam higher damage with a higher defense. That was just all of my imagination, that's just the blue. 
I actually studied it in the middle of a video, just for the record. Okay, our last last one is Sid. She's a former PNX star back in the clan right now. She has a green demon killer. Uses cat and wolf. Upgraded basically just like I did. With the exception she's got the third awakening and max out skills and uh, I don't even have come close to that. Looks like it's left hand speed. The helmet probably has critical rate and critical rate damage. Right hand attack percentage. Here says Nomad King. Very popular way to upgrade him. Or the war patterns. Six hippo. She's still in the in the, in the upgrade process. But has 10,000 bonus hit points. Looks, looks like she she boosted up the attack and the defense a little bit uh, Looks like she has critical rate damage on the helmet and right hand with, uh, with either hit point percentage or attack percentage Looks like he has all good uh, second through fifth attributes attributes. Wow. I can't you know end of the video <laughs> Two things to take from this first number one Get your speed over 150 combined you see the top players have theirs around 175, 180. Number two, don't reinvent the wheel. Copy the best guys in your server, guys and girls in the server. Then start to be creative after. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next video coming up is on ranked matches. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.